Hello, good evening, my dear learners, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my Facebook page, Learn English with Teacher Aubrey, and welcome to another to another live lesson tonight in which we are going to discuss another exciting topic, which is about, yeah, do, does, and did. Ayan, kumusta po ang lahat? And I hope na marami tayong makasama tonight on our live lesson. Kung bago kayo sa aking channel, I'm requesting all of you to subscribe on my channel. And if you're new here on my Facebook page, don't forget to like and follow. And of course, always turn on the notification bell on YouTube para lagi kayong updated every time may ganito po tayong live lesson. And yes, just like the usual, we are broadcasting simultaneously live on Facebook and on YouTube. So my simple request before we begin, mangyari pong share ng link ng ating live tonight. share sa inyong Facebook wall, Facebook uh, feeds, at isend ang link ng YouTube live natin sa inyo pong mga kaibigan para marami po tayong makasama tonight. So once again, good evening to all of you. At batiin muna natin ang lahat ng kasama natin na nanonood ng live. I-comment ninyo ang inyong mga lugar na kinaroroonan para mabati ko po kayo. So ayan, ang una muna natin gagawin, i-share muna natin ang link ng ating live. Ayan na, live na tayo. I-share ko lang muna, i-share nyo rin po ang link sa inyo pong mga social media accounts. Ayan, good evening to all of you. Marami na tayong kasamang nanonood. This is another exciting topic kasi marami kayong sasagutan, marami uli akong ipin-repair na activity para talagang matuto kayo at madiscover niyo kung namamaster nyo na ba itong topic natin, do, does, and did. Hello, good evening to... Adeline, Adeline, Adeline official. Hello sa'yo, Virgily Item, Danielle Sam, na lagi natin kasama. My pleasure, nabasa ko yung comment mo, nakakataba ng puso. Jaira, hello sa'yo. Ang grade to pupil na kasama natin, ano, very eager siya matuto. Si Robert Pialante, hello, good evening. Uh, si Mike Lima, watching from Cotabato City, ang aking husband, watching there beside me, na si Yen Yurel. Dodski. Hello, good evening. Si Rick, good evening po sa inyong lahat. Nanonood siya from San Francisco, Agusan del Sur. From Mexico, Pampanga pa rin si Daniel Sam. Si Rayaline from Zamboanga City, hello po. Sam Rex. Christine Arevalo from Makati City. From Tagig, nanonood sa atin si Jen. Ayan, i-comment ninyo sa ang lugar po kayo naroon para mabati ko po kayo. Si Mikey, hello, hello sa'yo. Ayan, pakishare nyo po yung link ha, para, para mihin natin yung share. Si Melanie na nanonood from Hong Kong. Si Hazel, hello. Si Mapagmahal. At si Leo Paharilia. Ayan, nasan si Leo? Leo Paharilia. Si Vin, Van, Vin Von Van from Nagarlan, Laguna. Kasama rin natin si Jean, si Jeshel na nanonood from Cebu. From Las Pina, si John Eric Molina. From Cotabato City pa rin, si Mavi. Hello sa'yo. From Samar, nanonood si Maria Soledad Dula. Shoutout natin ang mga taga-tondo Manila. Unahin natin si Dani. Si, eto, si Salamudi, nanonood from Sultan Kudarat. From Bicol, si Irene. Ayan, nakakatuwa, no? Mula sa iba't ibang lugar ang kasama natin tonight. Si Mr. M na lagi natin kasama. Siyempre, from Muntinlupa, si Jean. Hello po. Joel Morales from Quezon City. At kung ang papanoorin na po ninyo ay ang live na, ay ang replay pala ng live lesson na ito, pwede na kayo mag-proceed sa 5th or 6th minute kasi din tayo magsistart. Alright, siyempre kasama rin natin from Dolores Quezon, si Teresa. Ang daming nanonood. Thank you po. Salamat sa inyo yan. Kababayan ko rito sa Bulacan na nasa Pandi, si Jas Mendoza. Hello po. Angelic. Angelic. Nanay, the vlogger. Hello po. Shout out sa iyo. Ruby Sinfuego from Antipolo. Uh, from Israel. Kasama natin si Vicky Carmona. At ayan, from Czech Republic, si Jason Padilla. From Project 6, si Nanay Vlogger. Hello po. From Cotabato na si... Rahima Bansil Salik. Ayan. Ang dami nila. From Iloilo, Maayong Gabi, G. Sibolinao Erbite. 
Shoutout din natin from Samar, si Reggie. Ayan. From San Pedro, si Cez. At ayan, nanonood din sa atin. I-shoutout daw natin ang Mercedes High School Teachers. Hello po. Shoutout po sa inyo lahat mga mam and sir from Ninita Eleuterio Serio. Magandang gabi po. And to everyone, good evening. And ayan, shoutout ko to. Ihabol natin si sir. <laughs> Si Sir Marlon. Hello po, Sir Marlon. Good evening. Ay, hala, ito yung topic sa vlog mo, ma'am, na first ko na panood. Wow, very good. O ngayon, tingnan natin kung natutuan mo bang mabuti yung narinig mo doon. Marami kayong sasagot ang activities tonight, Sir Marlon. Asahan ko na magiging active kayo sa pagsasagot tonight. So, what are we waiting for? Once again, good evening to all of you, my dear learners. And I'd like to welcome all of you here on my channel and on my Facebook page. Tonight, we are going to discuss the topic about do, does, and did. But before that, just like the usual, gusto ko munang gisingin ang inyo pong mga natutulog na isipan, we are going to have this um, game, yes. This will be the game. Gamitin po ang ating live comments, ang ating chat box para sagutin at hulaan itong mga inihanda ko po. Para sa inyo tonight. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. We are going to have a guessing game. Yeah, and meron po tayong guessing game tonight, my dear learners. I want you to, yeah, use the chat box to put your answers. Yes, let's make this uh, lesson very interactive. Ano po? Kaya kailangan, wag lang basta manood, magsagot po tayo. For the guessing game, we will be having three categories. The first one, we'll be having guessing game about countries. Hulaan nyo ano yung country na pinapahulaan sa pictures. Next, we'll be having uh, about places in the Philippines. Ayan. Siguro yung iba alam na nila to, no? Pero kung alam nyo, sige, makipag-unahan kayong magsagot sa chat box natin. At yung pangatlo, about logo brands. Mga brands, mga logo. Okay? So, let's get started. The first one is countries. Ayan. Countries po tayo muna, ha? Ang una ay ito. Subukan nga ninyo, ano kaya ang bansang ito? Mm -hmm. Ayan, sige. I'm looking for the correct answers on the chat or on the, yes, on the comments. Sige po, i-comment ninyo ang tamang sagot. Anong bansa yan? Clue! Ayan, oh, yes, I already saw a correct answer from Jira. That is... China. Ayan, China from Nicole. Hello, Nicole. Ayan, from Danielle. China. That is China. China. All right? The correct answer is China. Okay, we have chain and letter A. Ah, China. Next one is this. Ayan. Ano kaya yan? <laughs> ano po kaya ang sagot dyan? We have there a picture of a bell and then a uh, gym. What's that? Bell and gym. What do you think is that country? Ayan na nga! May nakamagsagot na. Daming sagot. The first answer came from Mechman. Ayan. Congratulations. It's Belgium. Belgium. Ayan. From Faith. Ang daming tamang sagot. Ano? From Lani. But don't forget to always write the name of any country in capitalized letter. Ayan, si Tita Ellie. Hello po, good evening na nanonood din. Si Lloyd Quijano, very good answer, no? Ang tamang sagot po ay Belgium. Belgium, okay? Ayan, next one is this. Meron tayong letter S, meron tayong ear, meron tayong D, at meron tayong A. What do you think is the answer for that? What country? Guess the country. What's the answer? Aha! I saw the correct answer from Lloyd Quijano. It is Serbia. Yes, Serbia from Christine. Hello po. Good evening, ma'am. From my husband, Yen Urel, Serbia. Ayan, ang dami ng tamang sagot. Serbia. Tingnan natin kung tama, ah. Tingnan natin kung tama yung sagot nyo. Ang sagot ay... Serbia. Ayan, tama. Next one is this. Ayan, ako. Kanina may nagsagot nito. May nagsagot nito kanina. Ano kaya yan? 
<laughs> Baka hindi nyo pa share ang link ng live natin tonight. I-share na po ninyo. Ayan. From Hazel, that is Singapore. Yes, we have Singapore. Ang daming tamang sagot. Singapore. Singapore. <laughs> Singapore. Ayan. Ang tama pong sagot for that one is Singapore. Good job! Nakaka-cope up kayo sa mechanics ng game natin. Ano? Next, ito yung I think the last one for our game to, for the country. What is this? We have there yung bra. Ayan, bra. Ano yan? <laughs> what country is that? Yes! From Vin Von Van. That is Brazil. Yes, we have Brazil. Meron po tayong uh, Brazil Brazil, Brazil. The correct answer is Brazil. Alright? Ang tama pong sagot ay Brazil. Next naman dito tayo. Mag-proceed tayo sa places in the Philippines. Ito yung next category natin. Huhulaan nyo, ano kayong mga lugar ito sa Pilipinas? The same, uh, the same pa rin yung mechanics no? sa pamamagitan ng Nakikita ninyong uh, emojis, uh, symbols, pictures. Kailangan ninyong ma-find out ano po yung bansang tinutu or lugar dito sa Pilipinas. We have this one. Ano kaya nga probinsya yan? Ayan. <laughs> Ayan. Shout out lang muna natin si Masbate niya, girl. Hello sa'yo at sa lahat ng mga taga Masbate. Ayan. Ano kaya ang lugar yan sa Pilipinas? Ayan, anong lugar yan? Iyan na nga, iyan na nga, nakita ko na from Mr. M. Yan po ay Bicol. Bicol, tama, ano? Yan po ay Bicol. Kasi merong B at yung lalaki pag nakagayan, di ba? That looks cool. So, Bicol. Alright, next one is this. Ayan, ano kaya yan? <laughs> Ano po kaya ang tamang sagot dyan? By the way ha, hindi pa to yung lesson natin. Ito po ay para lang magising at ma-stimulate at mag-isip yung mga utak natin. Ano kaya yan? We have a picture of a dove. Yes! Ayan na nga, nakita ko na ang tamang sagot. We have Davao. Davao. Congratulations. Ang tamang sagot po dyan ay... Da vow, di ba kapag kinakasal merong vows. So da vow. Ayun. Next naman dito tayo. Eto. Eto ah, hindi to probinsya. Pero ito ay isang siyudad sa Pilipinas. What do you think is that? <laughs> ano po kaya yung tamang sagot dito sa isang ito? Sige, ayan na nga, meron na ako nakita. Eto, from, ang dami ng sagot. Ayan, from Ja Mendoza. Jas Mendoza, that is tagig. Yes po, tagig po ang tamang sagot. Kasi meron po tayong tag. At kapag ganyan, di ba, tawag dyan, may gig ka ba? May tugtog ka, may kakanda ka mamaya, may gig ka ba? Tagig. Alright, next one is this. Eto, ano kaya yan? Sige nga po. O baka hindi ko pa na share yung link ng live natin ha. Pakishare na ninyo. Ano kaya yan? Anong sagot? <laughs> May nagsagot ng si Manluloko. Hindi po, hindi po si Manluloko yan ha. Ayun! Nakita ko na ang tamang sagot. It is Marinduque. Ayan, di ba? We have Marinduque. Eh, Teacher Obri, paano naging Marinduque yan? Ayan po, we have Marine, we have a doctor, and we have a key. Marinduque. Okay. Next one is this. Ito tayo. Ayan. Ano kaya yan? Ano kaya ang isang ito? Maganda dyan. Maganda mamasyal dyan eh. Ang dami dyan. Ang daming magagandang makikita dyan. Ayan, from Hazel, we have Palawan. Eden, very good. Palawan po ang sagot. Ano? Palawan. 
That is we have pa, lo, and one. Palawan. All right, that's it. Now, let's proceed to the last part, which is the logo or brand. Subukan natin alamin kung tanda nyo ba yung mga logo na makikita nyo tonight. Ilagay po sa ating comment or chat box. Tingnan natin. Ang una, ito. Ano pong logo yan? Or anong brand? Kung favorite nyo yan, sigurado masasagot nyo agad. Masarap yan. May iba't ibang flavor. Ah, meron na ako nakita from Lori, from uh, Annalyn, ang dami, from Jera, from Rosana. Yan po ay, yes, Pringles. Pringles yan ha. Next naman, eto ano naman ang isang ito. Ano yan? Nako, masarap yung inumin pero wag susobra. Kapag uhaw na uhaw ka na pagod ka tapos inom ka ng malamig na ganyan, masarap, no? Mapapadighay ka. Ayan na nga, yan po ay Sprite. Yes, Sprite. Next tayo, next. This one, eto, masarap to lalo pagkasama ang barkada, ang pamilya at pagsasalu-saluhan. What do you think is this one? Ano kaya ang isang ito? Yes, yun na nga. Nakita ko na. We have Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Yan. Yan po ay Pizza Hut. Masarap dyan. Ayan. Pizza Hut. Alright. Next one is this. Ito. Ano kaya ito? <laughs> ano kaya yan? Medyo tinanggal yung ibang part, no? Ayan. Yan ay masarap. Para siyang... Para siyang cream O, pero hindi. Kapatid siya ng cream O, we have Oreo. Ayan, we have Oreo. The correct answer is Oreo. Okay? And the last one, I think it's the last. Ito. Ito, ito, ito. Masarap yan. Lalo pag may kasabay na kape. Ano kaya yan? Rebisco. Ayan. uh uh-huh. uh-huh. Ang daming sagot. Ano kayong sagot? Sige, i-comment niyo. Iyon na nga, nakita ko na we have crispy cream. Cream or cream? Hindi ko alam kung ano talaga yung basa dyan eh. Pero crispy cream, ayan siya. Okay? Yan po ay crispy cream. Ayan, masarap. Lalo kapag may kasabay na kape. At eto na yung last. Ay, th- ay hindi pa pala to last. Second to the last ito. Ayan, ano po kaya yan? Eto, eto. Masarap to. Kumakain din kami minsan dito. Lalo, gustong gusto to ng asawa ko kasi mahilig siya dito. Mm-hmm. Jollibee! <laughs> Ayan, check natin. Ayun, that is Burger King. Burger King po. At eto na nga yung last. Eto. Ano kaya ang isang ito? <laughs> ano po kaya ang isang ito? Aha. Obviously, that starts with letter G. That is Gatorade. Ayan, Gatorade. Gatorade po. Ayan. Congratulations. The correct answer is Gatorade. Ayan, palakpakan ninyo ang inyong mga sarili. Give yourselves a virtual clap. Ayan, congratulations. Ayan, tama ang kanilang mga kasagutan. So much for our energizer, for our game. Sana, no, nagising yung ating mga utak. Kasi this time, meron tayong tatalakayan na kailangan mas gising ang isip ninyo kapag nagsagot na kayo. And that the topic we're about to uh, discuss tonight is about the do, does, and then, yun na nga yung tatalakayan natin, ano? Ngayon, ang gagawin natin, I have here sentences or activities. I have five part activities tonight na kung saan madidiscuss natin yung different rules when we are using the verbs do, does, and did. What you have to do is to answer. May sasagutan po kayo. You'll still be using the comment section, the chat box, 
to put your answers, to share your thoughts and ideas with the whole community of learners. And then I'm going to reveal the answer and then I'll explain the underlying rule. Bakit ganon dapat gamitin ang do, does, and did. So what are we waiting for? Let's make this live lesson more interactive. Let's begin. Our topic for tonight is about do, does, and did. So when we say do, does, and did, by the way, I already have a full video lesson about this topic. Pwede nyo rin yung uh, panoorin no? para mas makita ninyo yung mas detalyado. Pero ito, sa pamagitan ng pagsasagot nyo dito, medyo, or should I say, mas mamamaster din ninyo kasi makikita nyo yung application. The verb to do, do, does, and did. Okay? Sabi po, my dear learners, the words do, does, and did often cause confusion in the English language. They are all forms of the verb to do. Kapag sinabi nating verb to do, we are considering these words as to do verbs or verb be verbs. Okay? Ano ba ibig sabihin ng verb to do? Okay? Pwede natin silang gamitin bilang action verb and also they can function as auxiliary verb or helpers or helping verbs. Okay? Sabi dyan, in some cases, to do is used as a verb to express an action. Minsan, siya mismo. Sila mismo yung nagpo-function as action word. Just like the verb to walk. Alright? Ngayon, may mga pagkakataon din naman na sila po ay nagiging helping verb na kung saan may kasunod sila na main action verb. Tingnan natin itong mga sasagutan ninyo para mas maunawaan. Let's have the activity one. For the activity one, what you have to do is to choose the correct verb form to complete the sentences. This is number one. Pete always do, does, or did his taxes on time. What's the answer? Ano pong sagot? Ayan, ano pong sagot dyan? Pete always do, does, or did his taxes on time. All right. Ang sagot po dyan ay does. Okay? Does po ang sagot natin sa number one from McMahon, from Catherine. Does po ang tamang sagot. Okay? The correct is this. Pete always does his taxes on time. Tandaan natin na kapag ang subject ay singular o isang pangalan lang at yung kilos ay nangyayari sa pangkasalukuyan, does po ang dapat gamitin. Ilan ba si Pete? Isa lang siya. So, does ang gagamitin. Pete does his taxes on time. Number two is this. Volunteers do or does a lot of work around the town. Volunteers do or does a lot, a lot of work around the town. Sige po. I'll... Ayan, siguro para hindi ako malito, no? Kasi ang daming comments, eh. Ilagay ninyo yung buong sentence. Okay? Complete sentence po yung sagot na ilalagay natin sa comments or sa live chat. Alright? Ayan, sige. I'll look for a complete answer and then... Let me check kung sino ang makakapagbigay ng kompletong sagot. Volunteers do or does? And bakit yun ang sagot ninyo? Sige nga po. Volunteers do or does a lot of work around the town. The answer for that is, eto na, may nakita na ako. From Catherine Duya, volunteers do a lot of work around the town. From Danielle, we have, ayan pa rin, volunteers do a lot of work around the town. From Eden, volunteers do a lot of work around the town. So, my dear learners, ginagamit po natin ay, or ang tamang sagot dito ay do. It will be volunteers do a lot of work around the town. Saan ginagamit ang do? Ginagamit naman natin ang verb na do kapag ang subject natin ay I, you, we, they, and other plural nouns or pangalan or subject or pinag-uusapan na marami. Since our subject here is volunteers, marami, that is plural, ang ginamit natin ay do. It's wrong to say volunteers does. 
mali po yun. Ang tama ay volunteers do in present. Pero kung tumutukoy ka na sa past tense, did na yung gagamitin. Now, let's have number three. Number three is this. Heal. Si heal daw. Do, does, or did. <clears throat> A great job on his history report for school. So, unawain natin, ha? Yung pinag-uusapan ba rito ay nangyayari ngayon o natapos na? Nangyari na. He'll do, does, or did a great job on his history report for school. Sabi dyan, di ba? Parang, kumbaga, natapos na ni Hill. Nagawa niyang maayos, maganda, matagumpay yung kanyang report or pag-uulat sa paaralan. Ayan, may nakita na akong tamang sagot. So, the correct answer for number three is did. Alright, from Mechman. Hill did a great job on his history report. Ayan, did. We have did from Eden. Ayan. Tama, no? Vin Von Van, did pa rin. Use, try to answer incomplete sentence, my dear learners. Okay, did. Bakit po did? Ang tamang sagot sa number three ay did. Hill did a great job on his history report for school. Ang did po, my dear learners, ginagamit ito for past tense o para sa mga kilos na natapos na. In this sentence, ang pinag-uusapan ay yung nagawa na ni Hill. Natapos niya na yung report sa school at nagawa niyang matagumpay, maayos, successfully, great. Okay? Since tapos na, did na yung ginamit natin. At teacher Obri, kaso singular si Hill. Ayan po. Kapag past tense, hindi na natin kailangang mamroblema kung singular ba or plural yung subject. Kahit singular, kahit plural, isa man o marami yung subject, ano man yung subject mo, I, he, she, lahat ng uri ng subjects, applicable po ang did. Okay? Take note of that. Next, number four, eto. It's something different. Okay? Ano kaya yung sagot dito? Tingnan natin kung meron kayong idea. Ano kaya ang sagot dito? You have blank nothing all morning. Ano kaya ang sagot dyan? Sige nga, ilagay yung tamang sagot, incomplete sentence. Ilagay po ang sagot sa ating chat box or sa comments, incomplete. Kompletong pangungusap po. Ayan. <laughs> Ayan. Ayan, may nakita na akong tamang sagot. From... Danielle, ayan. You have done nothing all morning. Baka magtaka kayo, Teacher Aubrey, wala naman dyan ng do, does, and did eh. Bakit naging done? Eto pa, from Eden. You have done nothing all morning. Bakit kaya done ang ginamit natin? Bakit hindi do, does, or did? Bakit po done? May nagsabi na you have did. Hindi po yun, ha? Ang tamang sagot po ay you have done. Okay. The correct answer for that is this. You have done nothing all morning. Makinig mabuti. Ginagamit natin ang done, it is what we call as the past participle. Ito na po yung past participle ng do, does, and did. Ang past tense ay did. Ang past participle, or it is the verb 3 version, verb 3 form, okay? Present, past, past participle, V3, done. Kapag po ang nasa sentence ninyo ay gumamit ng present perfect, ito po ay present perfect kapag merong have. Ang kasunod na po ay past participle. Okay? You have done. It's wrong to say you have did or you have do. Mali po yun. Kapag meron pong have, ang kasunod palagi ay past participle form of the verb. And the past participle of did is done. Okay, you have done. Alright? Now, let's proceed to number five. Eto. I am the best I can. Anong tamang sagot dyan? I am the best I can. Yes, ayan. Tama po, no? From Kumen, Tol, Tuning, at Ben. Sabi niya, has or have plus the V3. Tama yan. Yan po ay belong sa tinatawag nating Present perfect tense ng verb. Okay? O sige, balik tayo dito. Balik tayo dito. Ayan, may nakita na akong tamang sagot. From Jean. Sabi ni Jean, the, the answer is, I am doing the best I can. Very good. Yan po ang tamang sagot, ano? 
The correct answer is doing. All right? The correct answer is doing. It will be, I am doing the best I can. Kapag po meron kayong subject, for example, your subject is I, pwede rin namang you, o kaya he, ano man yung subject ninyo na sa first point of view, speaker man yan, I. Second person point of view, you, you are. Or third person, he, she, or it. It is, okay? Ang do, does, and did na kasunod dapat ay nasa ing form. It's wrong to say, I am do. Mali po yun. I am, she is does. Mali po yun, ano? Alright? So, ang tamang sagot ay doing. She is doing, he is doing, I am doing. Kapag po may nauna na am, is, are. Alright? Ano man yung subject, kapag ang kasunod ay linking verbs na am, is, are, yung do, does, and did, dapat nasa form siya ng ing form. Or doing. I am doing, he is doing, they are doing. Okay? Tandaan nyo yan kapag may naunang am, is, are, or was, or where. Okay? Yan po ah. Tandaan yan ha. Next naman. Dito tayo. Number six. I blank my laundry on Saturdays. I blank my laundry on Saturdays. What's the answer? The subject there is I. Ayan. I, what's the answer? On Saturdays. Ibig sabihin, palaging ginagawa. Tandaan po, kapag ang action ay habitual, palagi. Okay? Ang ginagamit natin ay simple present tense. Okay? So, what is the simple present tense? We use do. I do my laundry on Saturdays from Danielle, from Jaira, do. From Faith Manalo, I do my laundry on Saturdays. From, ayan, Journaline, I do my laundry on Saturdays. Okay, baka magtanong kayo, ha? Teacher Aubrey, hindi ba mali? Bakit po Saturdays? Bakit hindi Saturday lang? Eto. Ang pagkakaiba niyan, let's just touch a little para alam niyo. Kapag sinabi natin, I do my laundry on Saturday, hindi na pwedeng gamitin na do lang. I will do. Kasi gusto mong sabihin na gagawin mo sa darating na Sabado. Specific na sa darating na Sabado yon. Pero kapag sinabi mong Saturdays, nilagyan mo ng S. Pwedeng weekends, Saturdays, Sundays, Mondays. Ibig sabihin nun, tuwing Sabado mo siya ginagawa. Okay? Walang specific na next week na Sabado. Basta tumutukoy ka sa lahat ng darating na Sabado. Pasensya na may aso sa labas, tumatawag. <laughs> okay, yun po ang ibig sabihin kapag nilalagyan natin ng S. Pero kapag sinabi ko, I will go to my mom on weekend. Darat, sa darating na weekend, Sabado, Linggo, gagawin ko yun. Pero kapag sinabi ko, I go to my parents every weekends. Ibig sabihin, tuwing sasapit yung weekends, ginagawa ko yun. Hindi lang ako nag-specify na isang weekend yun. Pero tuwing weekends, ginagawa ko yun. Okay? Ayan na nga. Now, let's proceed to this one. Dito na tayo. Ang tamang sagot ay, I do my laundry on Saturdays. Okay? Next one is this. Number seven tayo. They do, does, or did their homework when they arrive home from school. What's the answer? They. Okay? Kapag ang subject ay they, ano po ang ginagamit natin? Do, does, or did. So, it's another habitual action. Pag habitual action, simple present po. So, tanggal na dyan ang did. Kasi habitual action yan eh. Tuwing sila ay nakakauwi mula sa paaralan, ginagawa nila palagi yung kanilang assignment. Okay. What's the answer? They, ayan, from Terry, sabi niya, they do their homework, they do their. Their po yan ha, homework when they arrive home from school. Okay, the correct answer is do. They do their homework when they arrive home from school. Ayan. Okay? Next one is this. Dito tayo. Number eight. He. Ayan ha. Madadali na lang tong mga part na to. Maya-maya yung ibang challenging. I-reveal ko sa inyo. Ngayon, sagutan muna natin to. He do, does, or did nothing all day. Meron akong nababasa. 
he does or he does or he don't. Naku po, masakit sa tenga, no? Ang tamang sagot sa isang ito ay, tandaan nyo kapag ang subjects ay he, she, it, ang gagamitin natin ay does for present, okay? Ayan, from, may nakita na akong sagot, from Vicky Carmona, he does nothing all day. Ayan, he does nothing all day. Ang sagot po ay he does. Okay, that's still in present tense. Hindi pa naman tapos ang araw na ito eh. Okay, he does nothing all day. Present tense pa rin po yan, hindi po did ha. Alright, next one is this. Counterpart ng does or ng he, for girl we use she. She do, does, or did her best every day at work. Ilista nyo yung score ninyo ha. Tingnan nyo kung ano yung score na makukuha ninyo. She does, do, does, or did her best every day at work. She... <laughs> Ayan, good evening kay Teacher Emmaline. Hello. <laughs> Ayan. Anong sagot dito? Every day. Gumamit tayo ng time expression na every day. So it's another habitual action. Ibig sabihin, palaging ginagawa. At kapag habitual action po, Simple present tense ang gamit natin. Ano po? Ano kayang tamang sagot kung simple present tense? Ayan, may nakita na akong sagot. From Eden, she does her best every day at work. The correct answer is does. Okay, also from Terry, from Fernandez. Oh, Fernandez, it's does. Okay, she does. From Emmeline, does, she does. Hindi natin pwedeng sabihin she do ha. Ang do ginagamit natin for subjects I, you, we, they, and other plural subjects. Okay? Ngayon, eto na ang tamang sagot. She does her best every day at work. Ngayon, dito tayo. Ang pinag-uusapan dito ay si Phoebe at si Marie. Phoebe and Marie always do, does, or did good projects together. Phoebe and Marie, so Phoebe and Marie, example po yan ng Plural nouns. Bakit plural nouns? Kasi dalawa na, si Phoebe at si Marie, plural nouns. Kapag plural nouns, anong dapat gamitin natin? Do, does, or did? Ayan, do, does, or did. Anong sagot? Phoebe and Marie. Phoebe and Marie. Anong sagot po dyan? <laughs> Anong sagot dyan? Phoebe and Marie always, ayan na, from Danielle. Phoebe and Marie always do good projects together from Danielle. Okay? From Russell Ramos, Phoebe and Marie always do good projects together. Excellent answers. From Sins, Phoebe and Marie always do good projects together. Tandaan, ay sorry, tandaan po na kapag ang subject ninyo ay Plural, nagbanggit ka na ng dalawa o higit pang pangalan, plural subject na po yan. Ang gagamitin na po ay do for present tense. At kung tapos na yung kilos, yung, sa nakaraang panahon na, did na yung gagamitin. Pero dito, it's in present tense. So we use do. Phoebe and Marie do good projects together. Okay? So eto, tandaan po natin ha. With the verb to do in the present tense, tandaan. Eto yung mga dapat tandaan. Ang sinasabi po natin ay... <clears throat> I do, hindi pwede sabihin I does. Present tense to ha. We all say we also say you do, we do and they do and other plural subjects such as Phoebe and Marie do for present tense. Pero kapag naman present tense at singular na yung subjects, ang sinasabi na natin ay he does, she does and it does. Hindi pwede sabihin he do, she do, it do. Lagi po yung tatandaan. Okay? Now, let's proceed to this number 11. Ayan ha. Madali lang yan. She do, does, or did ballet after school last year. Ayan. Gumamit na po tayo ng time expression na last year. Ibig sabihin, tapos na. Nangyari na nung nakaraang taon. Kapag tapos na yung kilos, anong gagamitin? Do, does, or did? Regardless of the subject, anong dapat gamitin? Yes, 
Ang dapat ng gamitin ay did. It will be she did ballet after school last year. It will be did. Okay? From Fiona, it will be did. From Fernandez, it will be did. Ayan na po. Ang tamang sagot ay did. Okay. Did ang tamang sagot. Regardless of the subject, my dear learners, did na ang gagamitin kapag may nabasa na kayong last year or tapos na yung context ng pangungusap. Did na. Kahit ano yung subject mo, did yung gagamitin. Hindi natin pinoproblema kapag past yung subject kung isa lang ba o marami. Alright? Number 12 is this. I do, does, or did my homework in my bedroom last night. Ayan. Ang subject natin ay I or ako. Kapag ang subject ay I, anong ginagamit? Diba? Sabi ko, do. Pero nagsabi na dyan ng time expression na last night or nung nakaraang gabi. So kapag tapos na po, ano nang gagamitin natin? Just like in number 11, the answer is... Yes, the answer is I did. Did na po. Did na yung tamang sagot. Kasi po, last night na. It will be did. Yan. I appreciate your complete sentence answers, ha? Try to answer in complete sentence. Kompletong pangungusap from Russell. I did my homework in my bedroom last night. Last night. So it should be did. Okay? Did na po ang tamang sagot. Kasi last night tapos na. Alright? By the way, if you're learning something or something worthwhile on our live tonight, don't forget to like this video. Share the link with your friends or on your Facebook wall para marami pa tayong makasama tonight. The correct answer for number 12 is I did my homework in my bedroom last night. Okay? So makinig pong mabuti, tandaan na yung simple past tense ng do, I did. Okay? For all subjects, ano man ang subject mo, isa man yan o marami, did ang gagamitin, basta nasa pas na. We say, I did, you did, we did, they did, he did, she did, it did. Okay? Always remember that. Now, let's proceed to number 13. We have, I have do, done, does, did. May nasamang past participle na done. Okay? What's the answer? May nakita ulit tayong helping verb na have. At ang sabi ko sa inyo, kapag present perfect may have, ang kasunod dapat ay nasa V3 or past participle. So what is the past participle there? What's the past participle there? I have do, done, does, did. Ayan na, from Vicky, it is I have done my homework. I have done my homework. I have done my homework. Okay? That's the correct answer. It will be, I have done. Okay? I have done. Yan po yung tamang sagot. I have done. So, if you see have or has, she has, I have, has for singular, have for plural, yung kasunod po dapat ay nasa past participle. I have done. Okay? Now, let's have this one. Ayan na. Kanina, I have. Kasi ang subject ay I. For subjects I, you, we, they, have yung ginagamit na helping verb. Pero kapag ang subject ay he, ang gagamitin na po kapag ang subject ay he, she, it, or any singular nouns, has ang ginagamit. He has. So that's still in present perfect. Kapag present perfect, has or have, ang kasunod ay past participle pa rin. So what's the past participle of do or did? It will be... This one from Eden, sabi niya, he has done a good job. He has done a good job. From Faith, he has done a good job. From Rish, he has done a good job. But please don't forget the period or the full stop when you are going to end your sentence. He has done, ayan. He has done a good job from Shane. And don't forget to capitalize your sentences. Don't forget to begin your sentences with a capital letter and end with a full stop or a period. Okay? The correct answer is this. He has done a good job. Okay? Next one. Let's have this. Number 15. The video show, the video will show you how it is. 
Ayan, how it is. Kapag po, ganyan, ano kayang gagamitin? How it is did or how it is done? What's the correct answer? What do you think is the correct answer? The video will show you how it is did or how it is done. Ayan na, may nakita na tamang sagot from Jessa Singuay. The video will show you how it is done. Kapag po ganyan, it is, okay, is, ang kasunod po ay past participle. Hindi natin pwedeng gamitin yung past tense lang. It's, it should be in past participle, how it is done. The video will show you how it is done. It will be done from Melinda, from Eric, Jen, Liam. It is done. It will be, the video will show you how it is done. Ayan, nakakailang tamang sagot na kayo. Alright, let's proceed to number 16. The report was, did, done, or do on time. Parang kahawig rin to ng number 15. The report was did, done, or do on time. The report was did, done, or do on time. What's the answer? Was. Tapos na, past tense siya. Pero gumamit tayo ng helping verb na was. Okay. Usually, my dear learners, kapag po may helping verb sa unahan, has man yan, have, was, where, is, are, usually ang kasunod ay nasa past participle. So the correct answer is this. It will be the report was done on time. From uh, Jean, the report, the report was done on time. From Virgin Lee, the report was done on time. The correct answer is the report was done on time. Okay? Remember these rules. Makinig po. The past participle of do is done. Yan po yung verb three form niya kanina, di ba? Sabi ko, done. It is important to remember that past participles are accompanied by a conjugation of the verb to have or to be. So kapag usually merong kapag ang tense ay present perfect or may has or have sa unahan or had, past perfect or present perfect, ang kasunod po ay past participle na. Done ang ilalagay. Have done, has done, had. Okay? Had done. Kapag rin meron tayong mga linking verbs na am, is, are, usually, example is, is done, are done, was done, were done. Okay? Kapag may ganon. Alright? So yung general rule dyan, ganito, have plus past participle. Okay? For present for perfect tense, present perfect, okay? And B plus past participle pa rin for passive voice. Yan nga yung kanina, no? Yung gaya dito sa ating halimbawa na was done on time, okay? Now, dito tayo sa ating activity 2 na tayo, ha? What you have to do is to change the sentence is to into question form. It's more challenging, ha? Medyo nasa challenging part na tayo ng ating pag-aaral. Ang gagawin ninyo, my dear learners, Ipaparaphrase ninyo yung mga pangungusap na may do, does, and did para maging question form siya. And since what you have to do is question form, kailangan wag kalimutan yung question mark sa hulihan. Okay? Kasi po, tandaan na ginagamit din natin ang do, does, and did kapag tayo po ay magtatanong. Subukan na natin. Number 17 is this. How can you change this one into question form? Ilagay po ang tamang sagot sa ating live chat. You speak English. Paano po yan magiging question form? You speak English. Ang subject natin ay you. Ano ang ginagamit kapag ang subject ay you? Do, does, or did. In present. Kasi po present tense. We have to consider the tense of the sentence. In an affirmative sentence. So kapag po ang sentence ninyo ay affirmative, ibig sabihin positive, ayan. Kanyari, you speak English at nasa present tense, ang gagamitin din nyo, yung counterpart niya na present tense. So ano yung present tense? We have do and does. Eh, ang subject ay do. So hindi pwedeng gamitin si does. Do na ang gagamitin. 
Paano siya magiging patanong? It will be like this from Fernandez. Sabi niya, do you speak English? Ayan ha, dapat yung English nakakapitalize yung first letter ha. Do you speak Engl in English? Ayan. Do you speak English? Do you speak English? Ayan. Do you speak English? Do you speak English? So ang tamang sagot po para maging patanong yan ay magiging Do you speak English? Ang format lang kung ang subject ay you at affirmative yung sentence, hindi siya negative, ang gagamitin po ay do for subjects you, I, they, and other plural subjects. Okay? Since the subject is you, ang gagamitin ay do. Ilalagay sa unahan, followed by the subject, and the rest of the sentence. Okay? Do you speak English? That's it. Number 18 is this. He speaks Korean. He speaks Korean. Ang pinag-uusapan dyan ay he. Kapag ang subject po ay he, ano ang ginagamit natin? Do, does, or did. Eh, ang sentence ay nasa present tense. So, hindi na pwedeng gamitin ng did. Mamimili lang tayo sa do or does. Paano siya magiging question form? He speaks Korean. He speaks Korean. Don't forget to apply the proper capitalization. He speaks Korean. Eto na. May mga nakikita akong sagot ha. Sige ha, titingnan natin. I'll just flash her answer, okay? From Fernandez, sabi niya, does he speaks? Does he speaks? Hanap pa ako. From Christy Chu, does he speaks? Tingnan niyo mabuti ha. Does he speaks? From Mas Batenya, does he speaks? Okay? From Daniel, eto, dito kasi karaniwan nagkakamali. Bakit ko binibigyan ng emphasis? From Danny, does he speaks? Alright, balikan natin yung sentence. He speaks Korean. Kapag po ganyan, at gagawin na natin siyang patanong, ang gagamitin, tama kayo, does. Does. Followed by the subject, he. Does he. At yung verb nating speaks, nasa base form na lang po. Hindi natin pwedeng sabihin, does he speaks? Yung S doon, nandun na siya sa does sa umpisa. Does he speak na lang. Tandaan, kapag ginagamit ang do, does, and did for question forms, kapag nasa unahan ang do, does, and did, yung main action verb na kasunod ng subject doon sa question form ay nasa base form. Anong ibig sabihin ng base form? Yun po yung pinakapayak na, ka, na form ng isang verb. Yung wala tayong idinadagdag na kahit ano. So the correct answer is this. Hahanap tayo. Eto ha, I appreciate your answer. Comment told to Ning at Ben. Sabi niya, does plus subject plus V1. Tama. Ano yung V1? Yun po yung base form. Okay? So the correct answer from Nida, sabi niya, does he speak? Korean. Wala nang S. Okay, iyan na. Tama na yung mga sagot ninyo. Does he speak Korean? Does he speak Korean? Okay? Yun po yung tamang sagot. Ayan, palakpakan ang inyong mga sarili. Ang tamang sagot ay, does he speak Korean? It's wrong to say, does he speaks? Ano man ang gagamitin nyo, do, does, or did sa pagtatanong sa umpisa, yung verb ninyo ay nasa V1 or base form. Okay? Tandaan yan. Now, let's proceed to number 19. Eto. You lived in France. You lived in France. Ayan. You lived in France. Ang subject natin ay you. So, ang ginagamit sa you ay do. Pero tingnan nyo yung verb nasa past tense. Sabi, you lived in France. In Filipino, if we will translate, it will be Tumira ka sa France. Tumira, ibig sabihin, tapos na. Nangyari na. Siguro dati siya nakatira sa France, pero ngayon, hindi na. Kasi nga, tapos na yung kilos eh. Ano na po yung magiging sagot kapag ang verb ay nasa past form? Anong gagamitin na? It will be, <clears throat> eto. Aha, do you live? Are you sure? So the answer should be, did. Okay? Did you live? Kapag po ganyan, kapag may mga sentences tayo, affirmative sentence, ayan, congratulations kay Ter Santo, tama yung sagot mo ha, you lived, tama po na do. Kaso nga lang, tingnan nyo yung verb, yung verb nasa past tense na. Kapag po yung verb sa ganyang sentence ay nasa past form, ang gagawin ninyo, ang gagamitin na ay did, followed by the subject, did you, 
And the base form, which is live, did you live in France? Question mark. Okay, that will be the correct answer. Did you live in France? Base form na ha, wala nang D sa live. Okay, did you live in France? Okay, yan na po ang tamang sagot. Tingnan natin. It will be, did you live in France? And I just want to emphasize and take note, my dear learners, when we are speaking, meron tayong tinatawag na questions answerable by yes or no. Itouch lang natin saglit yung intonation na tinatawag. When we say intonation in language, yun po yung pagtaas at pagbaba ng tono kapag tayo ay nagsasalita. When we are asking questions answerable by yes or no, ang intonation po natin dapat ay rising or pataas. Example, the question, did you live in France? Diba ang tanong na yan ay pwedeng sagutin ng oo at hindi. Kapag ang tanong sa English ay pwedeng sagutin ng Oo o hindi, ang intonasyon dapat natin ay pataas. Did you live in France? Pero kapag ang tanong ay hindi na pwedeng sagutin ng yes or no, falling intonation na. Pwede natin sabihin, how old are you? How old are you? Diba? Falling intonation kasi yung tanong na yon ay hindi na siya masasagot ng yes and no. Okay? Tandaan po yan. Ngayon, dito tayo sa ating... Uh, Number, ayan, daming comments, no? Dito tayo sa number 20. Number 20 na po tayo. Your sister always talks so much on phone. Ayan, baka malito na kayo kasi medyo mahaba yung sentence. Kapag ganyan, nahanapin nyo lang agad yung subject. Ang subject dyan ay your sister. Your sister is singular. Okay? So, ang gagamitin ay does. Tingnan natin. Kung nasa present ba or nasa past tense, sabi dyan, your sister always talks. Kapag sinabi nating talks, that is simple present. So, ang gagamitin ay does talaga. Ngayon, subukan ninyong i-paraphrase at gawing question form ang isang ito. Your sister always talks so much on the phone. Ayan, may nakita na akong sagot from Fernandez. Sabi niya, does your sister always talk? Ayan ha, hindi natin pwedeng sabihin, does your sister always talks? Base form lang, walang S. Does your sister always talk too much or so much on the phone? Okay? Ayan, from Kumen, does your sister always talk so much on the phone? From Vicky, does your sister always talk so much on the phone? Pataas, kasi answerable by yes or no. So it will be, does your sister always talk so much on the phone? Nako, kung ganyan yung kapatid mo, bantayan mo, baka kung sino ang kausap niyan. Alright? Number 21 is this. Mr. Antonio didn't call you. Ayan, dito sa sentence na to, medyo may naiba na. Pansinin natin, ang ginamit po dito ay didn't call you. Meron tayong salitang didn't. Tandaan po natin, my dear learners, na ginagamit din natin ang do, does, and did if we want to form negative sentences. O kapag gusto nating bumuo ng mga sentence na gusto nating tukuyin ay hindi or not. Do not, does not, did not. Okay? Dito po, Mr. Antonio didn't call you at tandaan, ginagamit natin ang did for past tense. So, given na yung gagamitin natin na verb sa unahan, which is didn't followed by the verb, followed by the rest of the sentence. Subukan nga po natin i-paraphrase ang isang ito. Okay, so I already found an excellent answer from Eden. Didn't Mr. Antonio call you? Didn't Mr. Antonio call you? Hindi natin pwede sabihin does, ha? Bakit? Kasi po, did na ang ginamit. Sundin natin yung ibinigay na verb. Okay? Didn't po, ha? Hindi pwedeng sabihin did lang. Bakit? Kasi didn't eh. Did not. Negative po siya. Okay? Didn't Mr. Antonio call you? The correct answer is this. Didn't Mr. Antonio call you? Kapag given na po yung do, does, and did, at sa sentence na to ay negative siya, sundin po natin yon. Alright? followed by the subject, followed by the verb, the main verb in base form, which is call, and the rest 
of the sentence. Didn't Mr. Antonio call you? Okay? And take note of this rule. To make a question in the simple present tense, tandaan, we normally put the auxiliary do or does, okay, sa unahan, for singular subjects. Ah, for singular subject, does. For plural, do, in present, okay? Pero kung past naman, gaya nung kanina, past, did na yung nilalagay sa unahan. And then follow by the subject, followed by the verb in base form, and the rest of the sentence. Okay? Tandaan yan. Ngayon naman, ito yung activity 3 natin. Medyo mas challenging to. What you have to do is to complete the WH questions. Choose the correct form of the verb. My dear learners, ginagamit din po natin ang do, does, and did kapag tayo ay nagtatanong gamit ang WH questions. What are the WH questions? We have what, where, when, why, and yung panglima, how. Okay? Tingnan natin itong mga ito. Kompletuhin natin. Ganun pa rin naman, we have to consider the subject kung ano ang gagamitin natin, kung do, does, and did. And of course, let's consider the tense in the sentence kung present ba or past tense yung gagamitin natin. For number 22, it is why doesn't or don't you ever clean up your mess? The subject here is you. Kapag po you ang subject, anong ginagamit natin? Doesn't or don't? Put your answer in the chat box. Okay. Ayan, from Holly Ann Delgado. Sabi niya, why don't you ever clean up your mess? Why don't you ever clean up your mess? Don't forget to write the word don't properly. Don't, do, plus not, pinagdugtong, inalis ang letter O, nilagyan ng apostrophe sa itaas. Don't. Don't forget the apostrophe kasi mamamali na kapag po walang apostrophe. It will be, why don't you clean up your mess? Okay? That's the correct answer. Why don't you clean up your mess? Why don't you clean up your mess? Okay? Number 23 is this. How much do or does these earrings cost. Ang ating pong subject dyan ay earrings. At gumamit pa tayo ng word na these, which is plural. So obviously, the subject here is plural. Earrings, marami. Anong gagamitin? Do or does? How much do or does these earrings cost? Ayan, anong gagamitin? Ilagay po ang tamang sagot sa ating pong comments. How much do or does? Ilista ninyo, ilan na yung score na nakukuha ninyo, ha? Ayan. Kapag po ang subject ay marami, gaya ng earrings, anong ginagamit natin? Di ba ang sabi ko ay? Ayan. Do. How much do these? Kapag ang subject po ay marami, do ang ginagamit. Tandaan kapag isa lang, laging yung may S ang ginagamit natin, does. Alright? How much do these earrings cost? How much do these earrings cost? Okay? Ang tama pong sagot ay do. Alright? Number 24 tayo. Why do or does she always scream like that? Okay? Ang subject natin dyan ay she, isa lang ang she, and that is in present form. Do or does? Ano ang tamang sagot? Why do or does she always scream like that? Why? Ayan, so I already saw an answer, correct answer from Ferdinandes Eldimar. Why does she always scream like that? Ayan. Why does she always scream like that to Ma'am Aubrey? Dinugtungan pa ni Daniel, okay? Pero wala naman naninigaw sa akin eh, ano? <laughs> Why does she always scream like that? Ayan. Ang tama pong sagot ay does. Kasi ang subject natin ay she. Okay, ngayon tandaan ninyo itong mga rules na to kapag tayo ay magtatanong gamit ang WH question followed by do, does, or did. To create a WH question, start with a WH word. What, where, when, why. Okay? O kaya naman, how. Then, mag-a-add tayo ng do, does, or did. 
Depende kung ano yung subject. Kunyari, ang subject ay singular, in present, does. Kung ang subject ninyo ay plural o marami, do po ang gagamitin. Kaya kanina yung earrings, do ang ginamit, di ba? Kasi po plural yun. Okay? Pero kung tapos na, did na yung gagamitin. So, that will be followed by the base form of the verb. Laging nasa base form ang verb. And only then, add the rest of the sentence. Okay? And now, let's have the second to the last activity. Konti lang to, patapos na tayo. Our activity four is this. I want you to complete the sentences to show emphasis on the context. So, makinig pong mabuti. Ginagamit din natin ang do, does, and did. Kapag gusto nating magbigay ng emphasis sa isang sentence, usually ginagamit ito for conversational English o pwede rin sa pagsulat. Ginagamit siya for conversation kapag kunyari nakikipag-usap ka, tapos yung kausap mo medyo ayaw niya maniwala sa'yo or may gusto ka pang bigyan ng diin para mas maunawaan ng kausap mo o para mas matanggap ng kausap mo. Ngayon, kumplituhin natin to Choose from do, does, and did. Number 25, I blank really want to go. Ito pong nandito sa mga sentences na to na magdadagdag tayo ng emphasis. Actually, tama na sila. The sentence itself, I really want to go, tama na yan eh. Pero gusto mo magbigay ng emphasis, kaya magdadagdag ka ng do, does, and did. Since the sentence is in present tense and the subject is I, ano po ang dapat ilagay? I blank really want to go. Ayan, from kumen, it will be I real I do really want to go, 'di ba? Kapag sinabi mong I do really want to go, talagang gustong-gusto mong umalis na. Talagang gustong-gusto mong umalis na. Ano? Nagkaroon po ng emphasis na tinatawag or stress or the in. I do really want to go. Yun yung isang gamit ng do, does, did. If you want to put an emphasis on your statement. Another one is this. I blank study for the test. Nag-aral ka, pero ayaw maniwala ng kaklase mo. Gusto mo talagang sabihin na, nag-aral ka naman talaga. Okay? The sentence itself without the presence of do, does, and did is already correct. I study for the test. But since you would like to sound more emphatic, Gusto mong mas stress talaga na nag-aral ka talaga, no? So what you have to do is to add the do, does, and did. But in this sentence, it's already in past form. Tapos na yung test. So the answer will be what? In past form na po yan. Anong dapat maging sagot? Ayan. So the answer will be, I did study for the test. Nag-aral talaga ako para sa test. I did study for the test. Now, I want you to remember that sometimes, ayun nga, gaya ng sabi ko kanina, do, does, and this, and did are used in positive sentences to give special emphasis that way that what you say is true. Ayan, despite what other person thinks. Alright? Note that when speaking, the word do, does, and did is stressed with the voice. Okay? So, dito sa sentences natin to, kapag nagsasalita at gumamit ka ng do, does, and did to give emphasis, kapag babanggitin mo yan, maglalagay ka ng emphasis or stress or the in dun sa do, does, and did. So, in this sentence, it will be, I did study for the test. The other one is, I do really want to go. Okay, tandaan po iyan. Ngayon, dito tayo sa last activity na mayroong apat na items na lang. Okay, what you have to do for activity number five is to complete the sentences with the correct negative form of do, does, and did. Gaya dun sa nauna kanina, sabi ko sa inyo, ginagamit ang do, does, and did for negative sentences. Pero bago tayo magpatuloy, pwede kayo mag-water break. Sige, at mag-water break lang din ako. Ngayon, eto na, magsagot na tayo. For number 27, your client blank understand the contract. So, client is singular. Anong gagamitin? Doesn't or don't? Your client doesn't or don't? Your client doesn't or don't? Ayan, yung mga kasama natin, huwag kayo mawawala. Mamaya, babatiin natin kayo bago matapos ang atin pong live. Your client doesn't or don't. Ayan, from Terry, sabi niya, your client doesn't understand the contract. 
your client doesn't understand the contract? The correct answer is doesn't. Kasi po singular ang client. Your client doesn't. Okay? Number 28 is you doesn't or don't need to worry about me. You don't need, you don't or you doesn't need to worry about me. What's the correct answer? You don't need or you doesn't need to worry about me. You don't need or you doesn't need to worry about me. What's the correct answer? Sige nga po, ilagay ang complete sentence. Ayan, from Gemma Bell. Sabi niya, you don't need to worry about me. You don't need to worry. Oh, sorry. Kanina pa pala yan. From Russell, you don't need to worry about me. Kapag ang subject ay you, don't po ang gagamitin. Okay? You don't need to worry about me. Number 29 is this. Your friends blank the email. Ngayon, tingnan natin mabuti itong sent, itong spelling. Yung spelling. Diyan po nagkatalo sa spelling. Pareho silang didn't, no? Pero yung isa mali, eh. Ano yung dapat piliin? Didn't, did, apostrophe, nt, or did, n, apostrophe, t. Ano yung tama? Huwag pong malito sa spelling ng didn't. You didn't get, your friends didn't get the email. Parehong tamang didn't, pero yung isang didn't ay mali ang spelling. So don't be confused. Mamaya, mas ipapaliwanag ko sa inyo yung spelling ng don't, doesn't, and didn't. Okay, so the correct answer is this one. From Russell, kailangan po yung didn't, did Followed by letter N, apostrophe T. Yan yung tamang spelling. It will be, you, your friends didn't get the email. Okay, so I want you to take note that when creating negative sentences, kapag po tayo ay magsusulat gamit ng negative sentences, gumagamit tayo ng shortened form na don't. Okay? Doesn't at didn't. Yan yung usual kasi parang ang haba does not, did not, do not. At ang kasunod ay base form of the verb. Pero tandaan, let's take note of this. You have to save the long forms. Ginagamit din natin yung long forms, okay? Do not, does not, and did not for when you want to create emphasis. Kapag gusto mong magbigay ng the end sa pangungusap or sa pahayag or statement mo. When speaking, you would put an accent on the word not. And when it comes to spelling, wag pong malilito. When we are shortening the third person, he, she, and it, negative, just remove the letter O in not and add apostrophe. For example, does not, ang mangyayari, pag dudugtukin natin yung does not, magkarugtong, aalisin yung O at maglalagay lang ng apostrophe. Huwag pong kalimutan, that's applicable for do not, does not, and did not. Pag dudugtungin lang, aalisin ng O, lalagyan ng Apostrophe. And my last challenge for you is this, okay? If you're watching the replay of this video or kung kaya nyong gawin ngayon, write three sentences using do, does, and did applying the different uses that you prefer. May it be using negative, using the emphasis, the emphasis, using uh, the affirmative, the negative, or even for WH questions. Bahala po kayo basta i-apply ang do, does, and did. Okay? And that ends our lesson for tonight. Thank you so much. Bago tayo matapos, hayaan niyo po muna ang batiin ko ang lahat ng kasama pa rin nating learners in tonight's live lesson. Batiin natin ang lahat ng mga nanonood. Yung hindi ko pa nabate, i-comment niyo lang po ang inyong mga lugar na kinaroroonan at ang inyong mga pangalan, ang inyong request na shoutout sa ating live comments or sa ating comment section sa ibaba. Ayan, sige, habang wala pa, I'll flash the answer of those who already did my challenge from Rebecca. Do you love him? Yeah, I love him. I love him. My husband, I love my husband. I do like your voice. Tama yan. Shout out natin si, ayan, grade 2 teacher niya na si Des Alayo ng Silvestre Lazaro. Elementary sa Ugong Valenzuela. Hello po, Teacher Des Alayon. Shout out po yan from Jaira Orido. Ayan. Shout out din natin si Sharpie Balakenya. Nanonood from Japan na si Cheryl. 
Eto, meron na rin example si uh, Vicky. Do you love me? Did you go to the market? Does she drink her coffee? Very good. Tama yung sagot niya, no? Okay. From Pasig, nanonood sa atin si Liza. Nanonood sa atin si Liza. Okay. Liza. Sabi naman ni Eden, I do really learn from you, Teacher Aubrey. Thank you so much. So, ang in-apply niya rito ay yung paglalagay ng emphasis. Okay? I do really learn. Hindi na siya basta natuto. Talagang natuto siya, no? Okay. My pleasure, Virgin Lee. Rish from Marawi na talaga namang active. Si Faith, ang aking husband na nanonood. Alright. Jer- Ayan, watching from Saudi, si Jerly. I do love you from Daisy. Don't forget to end your sentences with a period or full stop. From Payata, si Neil. CE Channel, she doesn't. Shane, thank you. My pleasure po. From Bahrain. From Bangladesh, si Facebook user. Anong pangalan mo? Myra, from Australia. Rebecca, my pleasure po. Ayan, ako. I'll just flash randomly, ha? Ang dami kasi si Rebecca. From Davao, si... Tagum, Davao, Del Norte. Si Paul. Si Son B from Finland. Hello po. From Pangasinan, si Erlinda. Kabadbaran City from, ayan, si Daisy. Mm-hmm. Si Mama Eva, ang akin pong, ayan. Shout out po, Paulo Foronda ng Balagtas, Bulacan. Yung sana distributor. Ayan, shout out sa'yo and shout out din kay Mama Evangeline Badagwas, my... Uh, very, very uh, loving mother-in-law. Ayan. Si Kajon Sandagon Relahio Jr. B and B. Yeah, sige, sure. Pag-aaralan ko yan para mas maituro ko sa inyo. Shoutout natin yung mga nag-field study sa GNVHS Giginto po. Ayan. Diyan ba kayo nag-field study? Yeah, malapit lang kami dyan, no? Dito lang din ako sa Giginto. Russell Ramos. Sabi naman ni Cheryl, I do really learn how to speak English. From Arnel Mirialis, yan, from Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka, hello po. Kailan daw ang next live ko sa Webes po uli? Always, every Tuesday and Thursday, ang akin pong live. It's either 8 or 8.30. Uh, I-on yung notification bell para po updated kayo. Basta every Tuesday and Thursday po. Lizelle Gamboa, ayan, from Baco or Cavite. Nakakatuwa naman po. Shout out din natin PSSG Rodrigo Ontong of PMFC SWAT Bohol. Ayan, hello po. Yan po ay galing kay Jerry. Aha, uh-huh. thank you, thank you. I really do appreciate. Shout out din natin mga kasama natin from Isabella, si Iana, si Rish from Lapu-Lapu City. Ayan ha. Do you love Miles Bermudez? Oo, kapatid ko si Miles. Mag-follow kayo, subscribe kayo sa channel niya. <laughs> Ayan na, thank you po sa inyong lahat Ayan na nga Ang dami, pasensya ko hindi ko ma- ano, mabati ang lahat From well, si Bridget, from Sh- Sharpie, from Talisay Cebu, Raquel, from Batangas na si Holy At sa inyo pong lahat <laughs> thank you, thank you so much po sa mga hindi ko nabate Pagpaumanhinan po ninyo And shout out ko lang yung family ko sa May Kawaya Na lagi silang nanonood At yung aking mga in-laws and family dito sa Giginto Bulacan Ayan, Holiday Hills Ayan, may nanonood din from Laguna At sa lahat po ay maraming maraming salamat Bago ko tapusin ang video na ito I want to sh- to also promote my other social media accounts. If you're watching here on YouTube, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And also click the notification bell para lagi po kayong updated. Also follow me on my uh, Instagram at Obrey and at Obrey. Okay? On my TikTok, don't forget. On my Facebook page, like and follow. On my second family cha- second channel with my family, Aubrey and Family Lifestyle TV, the YouTube channel of my sister, I am Miles Bermudez. And also, uh, mag-subscribe din po kayo sa second channel ko. Uh, uumpisahan ko pong mag-upload doon ng pure English contents, pero hindi pa rin naman mawawala tong channel na to kung saan I'll deliver the lessons bilingually, English-Filipino. Pero kasi gusto ko kasing mas ma-reach yung world 
yung worldwide, ayan, yung lahat ng mga learners sa buong mundo. And I know sa pamagitan nun, mas maraming marireach ang akin pong channel, ang aking pagtuturo. Alright? And of course, let me just share with you this uh, quotation, this motivational quotation. Basahin ko lang po, ah, ang ganda kasi nito eh, no? Share ko lang po sa inyo. Sabi ni Eleanor Roosevelt, ay, ang kilala niya yan, I know for sure. Sabi niya, Learn from the mistakes of others. You can't live long enough to make them all yourself. Sa dami ng pagkakamali na pwedeng makamit o magawa ng isang tao habang siya'y nabubuhay, kung gusto mong gawin ng lahat ng yun habang nabubuhay ka, napaka-imposible magawa mo yun, no? So, minsan, hindi mo kailangan ikaw mismo ang magkamali. Anong kailangan? Dito papasok yung pagiging observant. Na hindi mo kailangan ikaw mismo ang magkamali sa pumumagitan ng pagiging observant mo o pag o observe sa naggagawa o sa mga bagay na nagagawa ng ibang tao. Kung minsan kapag alam nating mali, wag na nating gawin para mapatunayan nating mali, para masubukan nating mali talaga siya. Kapag alam mo ng mali at nangyari na sa ibang tao, let's learn from others' mistakes. Although sabi nga, experience is the best teacher. Sometimes may mga bagay na hindi natin dapat pang maranasan. Dapat lang matuto tayong tumingin at matuto sa pagkakamali ng iba at wag na natin ulitin sa ating mga sarili. Again, from Eleanor Roosevelt, learn from the mistakes of others. You can't live long enough to make them all yourself. Okay? And before I end, let me once again motivate and uh, inspire you with my favorite thing to inspire other people by saying this na ano man ang inyong mga edad, Estado sa buhay o narating sa buhay, alam ko po ang bawat isa sa atin, mayroon tayong mga pangarap, kaya lagi tayong nag-aaral para mas matuto pa. Tandaan natin na wala pong imposible, basta lagi lamang pagsisikapan at pagsasanayan. Have a great evening everyone. God bless you all. And bye for now!